think I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm perfect. What's going on, people on YouTube? It is your boy Obey Juice coming to y'all with another banger, man. And uh, yeah, we're outside, you know what I'm saying, looking at all of the vehicles that I have lined up. And man, I got a good taste of cards, you know. Um, I've been playing on sandbox mode for the longest, been having the most fun. I'm not going to lie to you because, you know, why not? I mean, I could actually do the realistic, you know, mechanic type stuff. Um, but I just been having more fun with mods and adding, you know, crazy like motor swaps doing you know upgraded suspension um i also got the real doc as you can see it's saying it's right there on the billboard all the way up there but yeah i got the wheel doc now um and you know it's 80 plus uh extra wheels that i can try out and throw them on different cars but uh yeah if you haven't seen the video for this um this gtr is ridiculously overpowered i'm not gonna lie to you um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab uh i got this one car i was working on um and it's my honda so what i want to do is i want to grab this car i was trying to figure out what motor swap to do with it but um it didn't work out like how i wanted to because i was basically like throwing a volkswagen motor in here just for the hell of it i don't know why i did that but anyway um yeah so now what i want to do is actually uh you know tweak these vehicles that i do have and you know have a little bit more fun with it um so you know i always gotta take a screenshot of everything because you know try to make sure you know everything gucci but yeah uh basically what we're gonna do now is take all of this off all of these old parts don't even matter anymore because um you know i got um you know upgraded lower control arms all of this stuff is from the old like when i was when i say old i'm talking like this is before i realized that i had um the extra dlc and also not even the dlc but even the um you know the mods the mods really play a big part in the game so like having that you know what i'm saying it, it comes in handy most definitely um so yeah all i gotta do is just disassemble all of this and then um, after that, I think I should be good to go, hopefully. But yeah, we're gonna just upgrade um, everything, you know, cause we got stronger, we got stronger parts now. And uh, we really don't need, you know, the small little bushings. I mean, dude, I really did not know, hold on. So let me, let me go. I don't know why I did that, I meant to click on the inventory. Uh, there we go. So what I need to do is actually get rid of most of the smaller bushings that don't really matter because they are taking up space. Um, just want to make sure we don't have that in the way. And I got to make, I actually got to make more. Um, yeah, I got to make some more, honestly. So what we can do is just type in rubber bushing. And then it'll take us right here. And then we can just get rid of all of the 100% ones. Because we don't need them. I can just, you know, put the polyurethane bushings in there type stuff. And call it a day. Um, I will be right back. I know this is probably going to get hella annoying. Because I'm just doing this. But yeah, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Alright, so. Uh, I was spamming the shoes off of these buttons man um no cap but yeah uh so now we are about to basically upgrade some of the parts that were on here that don't need to be on here and um you know let's go full send it now since i could put brimbos on everything this makes the game so much more like enjoyable and since i have the wheel dlc now um you know i can i can legit like go crazy with the with whatever at this point um yeah we're gonna we're gonna like legit tear everything down on this car i've got it for a steal at the junkyard like no you know not even joking and uh i basically wanted to you know rebuild the car have a little bit more fun with it 
and you know go from there but i mean starting off small you know this is this is what everybody dreams of man having fun you know chilling with your homies getting getting lit oh, let me stop. oh shoot no i didn't mean to put that on obviously you can tell the dang brake pads is so small compared to the rotors it's not even funny but we're gonna go ahead and put the the brimbos you know what i'm saying on this thing call it call it a day oh shoot actually i need to buy some more of those i don't have that many so putting a little wheel hub cap on buying a bunch of these yeah i think gotta be awesome that way that way we ain't gotta worry about it and um you know what i'm saying it'll, it'll, it'll stack up a lot but i need a lot of these because i know i'm gonna be doing a lot of cars with you know rotors and stuff so we just want to make sure we buy as many as possible and yeah that's some fun with it okay so now we got that upgraded we got to do the same thing on this side as well um because you don't want to have uneven you know breaking and the rotors and stuff isn't bad on this on this car like the suspension and stuff it's just um you know everything's a little rusty as you can tell from the body like it's not terrible like it, it could be worse it could be way worse but you know having um upgraded bushings to kind of stabilize everything and you know just replacing what you can i mean it shouldn't be too bad but we'll see how how the car actually performs on the road because that's the main thing is seeing how it performs this this is like one of the builds that i wanted to do something crazy on but i couldn't figure out what exactly to fit um so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna figure it out as we go type stuff because you know um it it does get a little hectic not gonna lie to you and we just want to make sure you know we have everything you know prepped up nice and good so now that i have the rears upgraded um i do believe there's no oil in that motor we're gonna find out though um because i'm about to grab that over there oh i gotta move the gearbox oh shoot okay let me double check you know there's nothing wrong with double checking i don't think i put any oil in here yes i did i did put oil in it see never hurts to double check never hurts to double check because it would have been like hey man you need to take this out i would have been like oh dang yeah you right okay so now we can drop this down and i have to legit figure out what motor i can throw in here that'll fit because this thing is front wheel drive you got to remember that um so only thing i can think of that i know that would work if it does is um i'm trying to remember i'm trying to remember uh i know that motor's toast so look this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create one i know i can do a inline four but trying to figure out which one don't even know and it's the inline four tsfi engine which means that it sits sideways like that mm, it might work but that's 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 a volkswagen engine you know what i'm saying that's basically what it is so what i can do is i can go ahead and buy a bunch of these parts and I know it's gonna be glitching. Just give it a bear, bear with me, you know. Um. So, oh, I forgot. That's the one thing I forgot. So when I go to look at the tuning, I can put all of this on here as well. I forgot to buy that. These are for like the cams. Um, you know, what I'm saying single overhead perfectly fine with that and you got the regular adjustable cam gears which i did not know was a thing for real but apparently like if you're building a, a four cylinder and you want that thing to be pushing like well over six seven hundred horsepower you most definitely gotta do some shit like that no cap 
If not, you might you might as well just say goodbye to the motor because that junk will b b b b b blow up. You know what I'm saying? Right, let me stop. Um, so yeah, so we got. I ain't never heard of a cat delete pipe. Let me buy a couple of those too while I'm at it. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I know it's something else that I'm missing. Uh, I think it was the. I think it was the braking. Or was it the braking? No, it was the suspension stuff. All right, no, 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 it was engine. My bad, I'm tripping. I know it was something on the engine where you can uh, upgrade the the rollers, all the pulley systems. You need you need you know lighter pulleys. That also can increase the horsepower as well. I forgot about that. Um, need that most definitely. Uh, I'm gonna buy a couple of these too, cause most definitely gonna need that. Um. Might as well go ahead and buy, you know, the high flow, you know what I'm saying? And also get the high flow injectors because we are doing the inline four. We just want to make sure, you know, that we have enough of them stocked up just to be on the safe side. Um, Yeah, let me go to the pulleys, though. I want to, I want to, I know I got a bunch of DLC stuff. Here they go. So here is the, the, the lightweight stuff. Need a bunch of those, most definitely. Because if we're going to be trying to push a lot of power, we got to make sure we got enough um, lightweightness on rotation. Because if we don't have that much rotational mass, theoretically, the motor moves a little bit faster. Thus creating a, a, enough power to the wheels and da da da, da. I mean, I can go on and on and on about that. But you just got to, you know, make sure that you have the car built not you know just gotta make sure you got a built if you don't got a built it's gonna crack and now you're gonna have to get a whole new block or a whole new car because something's gonna happen and it's gonna cost a lot of money and i don't think nobody wants those issues okay you know what i'm saying um oh yeah they do got the upgraded sway bar links in the front i keep forgetting but yeah we're gonna, we're gonna build this honda this honda is gonna be nice let me just uh buy one more of these about the 150. Oh, all right. So now we can go ahead and add all of these since we just put them on. Now we got these instead of the other one. So now we're going to see if this works. It should work. You know, y'all, it don't take me long to, to build no damn motor. Oh, shoot. I think it was F5. Yeah, F5 probably was the upgraded stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to see something. It's lagging. I know. It's going to take a minute. Oops. Let me do that. Yeah, it was F5, not F7. F5 is the... Okay, so I got my buttons mixed up. So we're just going to F5 this a couple more times. Just in case if I ever got to do you know, a couple more cars with inline four. But honestly what it's doing is is uh it's helping also get the spark plug count up. So we want to make sure we have enough spark plugs too. And um yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and get on this thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean other than that though, this this build is gonna come together nicely. I'm just trying to figure out what you know what to do because Honestly, I could just throw a Volkswagen motor in this thing, but it'd be a disgrace. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the performance cams on there, put the cradle on there. So many bolts. Put the covers on there, and then we can go ahead and do the inline jump. Put the throttle body on there. Oil filter housing, alternator, power steering pump, lightweight pulley. Put that on there. Got the big performance, you know what I'm saying? Exhaust manifold, adjustable cams. I'm putting everything like this just so, you know what I'm saying? We can. Oh, you know what? Actually. I just thought about it too for the performance right um 
we can type in a turbo, right? And they got they got a turbo that's sitting right here. I forgot about this. This right here is like the biggest turbo that you can throw on anything, for real, for real. And having 50 of those would be nice. But now, since we can throw the Bore Warner on there, man, I'm telling you, this thing's gonna be this thing's gonna be a menace. No cap, time of change is in the in the weirder spot, but you wouldn't be able to see it anyway, for real. Got the brake booster. Always gotta have a brake booster. APR, high pressure fuel pump. You already know how we rolling. Volkswagen people, you know how it is. Got the real big injectors, you know what I'm saying, down below. I don't know why, but they should have been thought about doing something like this a while ago. You know what I'm saying? Put the timer cover on. Put this lightweight pulley on there. Now, this thing is probably going to be, you know, respectfully, like, decent for it to be, you know, a four-cylinder. Nothing crazy, obviously, but you just want to make sure that you got, you know what I'm saying, some, some top-notch parts. That's all. Um, we can also search up. Okay, so we can't. It's not on here. Um, I was about to say, I think, I think you can do... I thought you, I thought they had, or unless I'm tripping. Oh, yeah, that is the, that's what it looks like. This whole time I thought the flywheel look a little bit different, but I guess not. Okay, go ahead and put that on. Put the cut plate, put the, put everything back together. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Solenoid, gotta have that. And I think the motor is complete. So now we can go ahead, take this off the stand and go ahead and try to fit this in here. It should work. I don't see why not, but we got a Volkswagen engine and a Honda. I know y'all going, y'all going to get me on the comments, bro. I already know. Um, but Hey, look, we're having fun. That's all that matters. And you know, we just trying to stuff out as we go. So now, front drive shaft. Ooh, I need to buy some more of those, to be honest. Like, a lot more of those, especially if I'm doing front wheel drive. You know, I just want to make sure that I have everything, you know what I'm saying, put together. So, now, what we can do is we can go ahead and put that on. We got the front section exhaust which goes to the cat. So everything is kind of lining up, which is exactly what I wanted, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, now we can go ahead and put the CV shaft in. We want to make sure we buy a bunch of those just in case if we ever see them again. Never know if we will, but it's just a good rule of thumb to always have more than just one part because you never know if you see it. Um, go ahead and put that on. Do the big Brembo's in the front. Like always, got to have more stopping power. Can't have none of that boo. And now we got one side done. Axle in. Everything looking good. It's looking all mocked up. Now we go ahead and do the same thing with the rotors on this side. Oops. Man, I, clicked, I clicked button so then quick. There you go. Then you go ahead and put these on. And do the wheel bearing. And we go ahead and throw that in there. And now we got both sides pretty much, you know, all together. Now, what we have to do is grab the exhaust, put a whole exhaust together, do the mid muffler and exhaust pipe, and do an upgraded rear muffler for inline four because we want to make sure that this thing is free flowing, especially with it having a way bigger turbo. Like, I'm talking twice the size of what the normal one would be. And since we have everything together, um, I think I didn't, I think I upgraded the bushings on the subframe. No, I didn't. So we're going to take these old, you know, bushings off. Oops. I meant to click the bushings, not the, not the catalytic converter. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take off the, the cat. And I said the cat, you know what I meant? Jeez, man. Now I'm talking about the catalytic converter. See what happens when you when you get your mind all twisted up. Okay. 
So then put that on, put that bushing on. Having upgraded bushings is the way to go, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I think, oh yeah, I was about to say, okay, so I can get the starter from the engine side of the bay. But anyway, um, this is pretty much where I'm gonna wrap the gameplay up. So, um, when I, you know, basically come back, um, we will paint this car, get this thing all nice and, you know, ready to go. It's front wheel drive, take it on for a drag strip. And yeah, got some new wheels to put on too. So I can't wait to try that out as well. And yeah, it's going to be awesome for the next banger. But if you did enjoy the video, give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Come.